And hi everybody! I am recording my very first video for YouTube and I'm really excited. Um, I'm playing The Sims 4 as you can see and I'm actually going to be um, playing a storyline very special that I will show you in just a second. Um, so a little bit about me, I've uh, been gaming for a while and I decided that I really wanted to do this. I really wanted to, um, you know, start recording gameplay and streaming and stuff like that, but I didn't really know where to start. And so I figured, well, the easiest way to do it is to just record my screen using um, the free app that already comes with it. So me being the cheap person I am, we'll be doing that for a while until I can save up for a proper PC and recording um, software, gameplay uh, recording software, and then we'll go from there. But for now, I'm just on my MacBook. Yes, I know. Shave me all you want. Um, but it's been working fine for me uh, to play The Sims. And, you know, like I said, why not start with what I already have? And um, yeah, so let's just go in and start a new game here. All right, so I'm going to actually import a, um, a household from the gallery that I created. I've actually been playing with them for a while. We are going to be playing the Godfather family. Um, so this is Vito and Carmela Corleone. Um, they just got married and are coming into the city and going to be building a family while Vito is going to be building like a you know, his career as like a mafia boss. And uh, in the description here, I have, I wrote that he fled his beloved Sicily due to tragedy when he was a little boy. Uh, Vito Corleone is building a solid reputation for himself as a future mafia leader. He and his loving wife, Carmela, fearlessly endure the hardships of everyday life in New York as they raise their family. And the reason why I wanted to play with these two characters um, was because you know, I really loved The Godfather, and I thought that it was a very interesting family um, whenever I first watched the movie, and since then I've become just such a big fan, and I really wanted to play with them in The Sims, and The Sims just, like, provided a really, really great platform to play as them, and, um, you know, just build a family with them. So we're going to place this household. I'm going to place them. Yes, I do. Okay, so there's Vito, um, you know, he's starting from the very bottom, so his shirt is not that clean, <laughs> but um, I definitely used, um, you know, Robert De Niro from The Godfather 2 as inspiration. The very long, structured jaw, very handsome, brown Italian hair, um, and yeah, so that's his, like, everyday outfit. His formal outfit, he, you know, he already have him, like, dressed as, you know, kind of someone that has his name well-known on the street. Athletic wear, you know, if he's just out in the city, just, like, running some errands or something like that, you know, he's just got a very, like, simple blazer. I really love this, these elbow patches here. Um, and then just, like, some simple shoes. Uh, and, of course, his page boy cap. Sleep. <laughs> Same. Little dirty Henley. Um, his party outfit, I gave him this blue vest, which was also in a picture um, that I saw on Google when I uh, Googled, you know, young Vito Corneoni. So, you know, the fact that Sims 4 had that in there, you know, just made it perfect. I don't know what swimwear was in the early 1910s, 1920s, so I just gave him this. When I... Uh, first played this family, I didn't have seasons. Um, so I had to really think about like what the summer outfit was going to be. And so I just, um, you know, gave him like a simple white t-shirt and some brown pants. And then in winter, just like a, a blazer with, uh, you know, or a simple, I don't know what you, what kind of call it, do you call it? I, looks like a blazer to me. Carmela, our lovely, lovely matriarch, who is just incredibly beautiful. Again, um, I got the inspiration from her also off of a picture. She's kind of got this hairstyle and some earrings, and I just thought that, you know, she'd really just have a simple updo. I also am doing, like, kind of a decades challenge with this, and so there were certain restrictions for them as, you know, Vito was going to be the one that was primarily working. Carmela's going to be stay-at-home mom, but, um, you know, she's going to be doing some things at home, like painting and gardening to kind of help him out as, as, he, as he does this, or as they build their life, but... Um, 
yeah, just very simple. Her hair is up, so, you know, it doesn't get in the way as she's working at home and, you know, raising the kids. And, oh, my God, I don't know why I didn't. She would definitely have shoes, especially if they're going to be, you know, in New York, especially in their New York apartment. Um, yeah, she would want to have shoes to protect her, protect her feet. So I love this dress. Um, I thought it was just simple, very modest. It was really hard to find clothing that, you know, was just like not super formal, um, but long and casual. And so um, this one was perfect. And yes, they love cats and they will have a cat, um, which I will show you soon. And you'll love the name of the cat. Um, and this is her formal outfit and, you know, very appropriate, appropriate. It's from the Glamour Pack. And um, she's got that really nice, you know, late 19th century, early 20th century vibe to it, which I thought was incredibly beautiful. Um, and then, of course, her hair up. So it kind of reminded me of Downton Abbey a little bit. So this is her athletic wears and, like, what she would wear when she went out. Again, just something very simple, very modest. Um, actually, she would also have some leggings here. Because I know they wore that a lot in the early days. Yeah. So she would definitely do that. Her sleepwear. Carmella really loves the per the color pink. And so I just gave her, again, from the Glamour Pack, this very beautiful, like, pink um, gown. Also, um, I don't really care for this hair. Like, it's pretty, but I'd rather she had the braid. Yes, perfect. So they have the braid, very lovely. Um, her party wear, it's just this very beautiful pink and white gown. Yes, I know the back is showing, but you know what? Like the rest of her, it's fine. I think that's something that she would definitely wear. Uh, swimwear, I just gave her this outfit. Because <laughs> um, I didn't really have much for you know her. I could put her in something like this as her swimwear. That'd probably be more representative, actually. Um, yeah, I might just do that. That works too, but I don't know. Kind of like this. So we're gonna leave her with that. <laughs> this is her like hot weather outfit. Um, I really loved this detail right here. Her cold weather outfit, I really, really love. Um, you know, she just has the hat with the coat and the scarf and the long skirt and some gloves. And I'm actually going to change her hair for this. Um, just give her, like there's one hairstyle where her hair is just tumbling over her shoulders and it looks so beautiful with the hat. There are you. There you are. Yes, very beautiful, Carmella. I'm going to change her earrings for this outfit. Um, so again, in that photo, she actually had long dangly earrings, so I'm going to give her these. Yes. She kind of looks more 70s, but honestly, um, I think this is very much a classic style. Um, and Carmel is incredibly stylish. Do I want to add a cat right now? Yes. I'm going to add a pet. A cat. Oh gosh, um, let's see, I think I remember American wire hair, yes, so we want to make, um, let's see, we want to make you fixed, oh my god, yeah, definitely, we want to make male, a kitten, oh, he's so cute, uh, I'm going to change the color a little bit. Um, cause you know, in the Godfather, there's in the opening scene, the very iconic scene, Vito's, you know, playing with the wire hair cat or else, I don't know what, what kind of breed it is. I thought it was interesting learning that that was a stray cat. Um, <laughs> not supposed to be in the scene at all. So I'm pulling up a, um, a picture from that scene and I'm going to try and make it look just like does in the movie yeah yeah okay so reads tails long tail coat color pattern we already did that um first short hair oh god no 
It's way too complicated for me. <laughs> uh, that would definitely be useful, useful in uh, building houses and stuff. All right. So, American wire hair. Let's see. Traits. Um, affectionate. Uh, because it was very affectionate in the movie. Friendly and lazy. All right. Now, the name, which you guys are going to love, is going to be Puzo, after the original author, Mario Puzo. Um, I just call him Puzo, but if it's Puzo, I'm so sorry. You guys are free to correct me. Um, but I thought that that was just like a really cute homage to the person that, um, you know, created the series. And yeah, that's our cat. So that's our little family starting off right now in the city. We've got Vito, we've got Carmela, and we've got Puzo, our cute little cat. And... I'm going to go ahead and play. Oh, that's a really cute portrait. Yeah, we'll go ahead and start playing. All right, so I'm doing the legacy challenge with them, and they updated the rules for uh, seasons, and I believe we have to start them in the winter. So I want this to be extremely, you know, difficult and representative of them really having to claw their way up to the top. Um, and so we're going to do winter. I'm also going to start them out... Um, Hmm. In the city, what'll happen is that I'll just go in and um, like buy certain things to get their uh, initial salaries down to um, like I think fifteen hundred dollars or something like that. They're not gonna have a baby right now, um, but you know it'd be nice to just like at least have an option for a kids' room. I honestly like this a lot more than this. I'm just going to go with this one. Um, lively neighbors. Oh, that's perfect. We want them to be <laughs> incredibly frustrated by their circumstances. So, yes, this works. And you, Corleone, life. I don't even know what I'm typing. I'm just, like, putting something in here. Uh, our first apartment. Okay, I'm going to do that. And furnish. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to do furnish. Make it more, you know, indicative of the time period. Yes, we won't forget. Thank you very much. Also, I love the music for this game. Um, Elon Ishkari did such a great job. Um, who is also the composer for The Young Victoria, for those of you that don't know that. I'm a huge film score nerd, and when I saw that, I said, yeah, that makes total sense. Because <laughs> he is fantastic. All right, so, um, let's see here. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and just change out this build. I hate the grid. We're going to give them all dark hardwood flooring. See. It just makes sense to do that. And I'm not the best at building, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. I just wanted to tweak a little bit. Now, because I want this to be true to the series, uh, or to the time period, um, there are some things that I'm going to have to do, like take out a shower, um, Take out this hood furnace thing. Oh, definitely no TV. What is that? No gaming. None of that. None of that. Don't have any of these lights. It's really, really, it's really dark in here. Don't need that either. So, um, there was another picture that I saw, um, on the internet when I was looking at them, and it's just Carmela and, um, Vito kind of in the house by themselves, and they have this fireplace that's near them, and so my thought was to have that fireplace, to stay true to the legacy challenge, I'm really going to have to start from scratch. I came through like a wrecking ball. Just getting rid of all your stuff. 
Do we need this bed? Is it comfortable? That won't work for us. You guys need to be struggling. Sell that. We're going to pretend that toilet paper existed. Actually, yes. I'm just going to get rid of everything, including the plumbing. Yes, I'm going to do it. Well, welcome home, you guys. I don't know if I like the shape of this. I'm not in love with the shape of you. So now what I need to do is buy some things that bring um, their starting amount down to $1,500. And so I thought the easiest thing would be to buy just computers um, because they're not going to use it. And so it just makes it a lot easier for me of like, oh, i got a good desk first. They're not going to use it so it can just stay in my inventory. And that's fine. All right, 19000 So let's go back to... Computer. I think I might have to get two of these. I'm trying to remember. What is wrong with you? Why won't you let me put you down? I'm so confused. Oh, I can't afford it. <laughs> wow. Well, duh. <laughs> that is the point for sure. All right. 1267. Um, let's see. We need 1500. So it costs $400. Perfect. Oh wait, that was four five hundred dollars. Any lamps that cost four hundred? All right, that's close enough. I'm just gonna go with this, and then I'm just gonna put that in their inventory. All right, you guys are getting a bed, so you might as well have some place to sleep. I wish they had a bigger version of this bed. I had a bed like this. I actually really loved it. I love that industrial look. I kind of want to give them this. Used and uncomfortable. I just don't want to give them anything too modern looking. You know, I think I'm going to give them this. My friend always said that the two things that you should invest in in your life is a good mattress and shoes because you always wear shoes and you're gonna be using your mattress like at least half of the time so all right so we've got $992 left let's go ahead and get you guys some plumbing this one 460 I wonder if we can get them some lights oh there's a lantern that's really pretty for $100 not bad that could work ah this one yes you get one you get one you get one <laughs> this is so sad and I guess I'll just set one right here. I don't know. I don't think they can afford a fridge. Oh, well, I can afford that. So I guess they're going to be doing that. I really wish I had that camp pack. I do not own all the packs because um, I am broke 99. Uh, let me see. And I think like in the camping pack, you have this like little cooler or something. And I think that that would have been like much more representative because they didn't really have fridges back then but you know what there are some things in the sims that uh, are not going to be representative so we're going to have to pretend that they are um oh god 137 dollars i don't even think i can afford to give them a bath and you know what actually i'm not going to worry about the fridge i'm just going to give them a bathtub if i can afford it okay this is what i can afford 450. Yeah, we're gonna give you guys this. Um, well, that's the best we can do. I don't even think I can afford a sink, can I? Nope, because this is the sink that I want to give them. Oh my god, 35 more dollars. Let me sell this lamp. All right, just see that right here. All right. I think we've got their apartment all started. <laughs> no kitchen. It's okay, we can work around that. $12! How relatable. There's their bed. Got a couple lamps here. A bathroom. Dude, I would be grateful for this too. Oh my god, I forgot a food bowl for Puzo! Okay, Puzo. Oh, wow, I, I really just, wow. I really just did that. Search for Puzo because we're totally going to find him. Food bowl. We can't afford a food bowl. Oh my god. Well, another lamp's gotta go. <laughs> this has gotta eat. Oh my god, and we need a litter box. 
And we don't have a trash can. Well, I guess that's that's a trash can, right? They could just go throw it out there. Oh my god, we can't afford a food bowl again. Two dollars, really? Oh my god. Ugh. We've got a few clues out. Okay, I'm sorry. The bed's gonna have to go. I'm so sorry. Um, you know, he'll love you for it. He really will. We can't afford things, you guys. Alright, um, yeah, I'm gonna give him that. Just a simple, plain, white food bowl. And yeah, let's give Puzo a place to sleep, too. Right here. Alright. <laughs> oh my god, maybe I should have waited to give him a cat. But you know what, it doesn't matter. Um, just want them to start their lives on the best footing possible. You know, their apartment, um... It truly is a sad story, starting from nothing type of thing. Also, I hope I didn't... Okay, young adult, yes. Um, and yeah, so guys, this is our couple, our Corleone couple, building your lives together with, you know, an apartment that's got nothing in it. <laughs> didn't even give them a book or anything, so you know what they'll be doing to have fun. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this introductory video. If you like this video, please give it a like uh, or thumbs up or whatever. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video and we will get the game going. All right. Bye, guys.